I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Alright, let's get started back with our fifth fight for tonight. This fight is our lightweight division. Two great fighters. We are ready for you here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Let's go ahead and bring out our first fighter in the red corner. Please make some noise for Reno Gurgi. Very classic matchup, like you said, but we've also got a boxer against an MMA fighter. Um, Renault is actually a Muay Thai fighter, more of an MMA fighter, not a boxer. Neil is a pure boxer. Very, very nice guy as well. They both respect each other. They have sparred in the past. Um, they know each other, uh, each other's style very well. And this, 
my in my opinion with these kind of matchups it's all about footwork like who can line themselves up better and use their strong side weapons yeah yeah you make a very valid point especially mma fighters they they've got very interesting footwork especially against boxers it's hard to predict now usually in these events as well it's whoever's got a good gas tank um, an MMA fighter tends to have a good gas tank in comparison to the boxer in these lineups because, like you said, he's constantly using different footwork. Both fighters are feeling each other out. Both have landed some very nice, clean shots. Um, Neil is, I think, landing the cleaner, harder punches, but, you know, Renault is not deterred by power. Swing and a miss from Renault. It's a quick right hook there from Renault. Neil coming up the zone flurry, trying to push Renault back. And good clinch. Now, when we spoke to Neil before this fight, he said he wants to set up shots a little bit more than he did last time. Throw more straight shots. Don't look for equalizing shots. An equalizing shot is a shot that can finish a fight in one go. So far, a very even match, I would say. Um, Neil looks like the boxer, but, you know, Renault is clearly, um, clearly not inexperienced in a ring like this. We're hugging each other. It's not a hugging match. <laughs> Tommy telling him not to hug each other. Now, I'm all for clinch work, Very fighting blunt. inside a clinch, yeah. But Tom, Tommy's a fighter at the end of the day. Good right hand there from Neil Ooh. as he pushes Renault back onto the right. Renault retreating into the clinch. That's definitely going to frustrate the referee. Ooh. Big right hand again from Neil. Now, Neil, Neil does do this a lot. He looks for equalizing shots. He looks for big power shots when really he could be... He could set up some big shots by tapping and then hitting. Oh. Another big right hand there from Neil. And this is exactly what you want to do. Now, against someone who's an MMA fighter, they are made to weather storms quite well, um, especially when their back's against the ropes. Uh, Neil loves these flurry shots. He fights very much like Manny Pacquiao, constantly on the balls of his feet, and then, bam, goes in with a combination. 10 seconds to go in our first round of our fifth fight tonight. We have seen some, oh, beautiful shot by Neil. But again, Renault stays in the fire. That was a very good round. They clearly like each other very much. And there you go, end of round number one. Yeah, they did. And they sort of canceled each other out a little bit too. They're doing the same kind of thing. Renault throwing the straight left, Neil throwing the straight right. Neil, very, um, effective with that straight right as well. It landed a couple of times very, very crisp. You, you, you make a very good point that it, it was almost like an even style matchup. I mean, when you think of rock, paper, scissors, right? If they're using rock, you use uh, paper. In this fight, it looks like they're both using the same element to fight each other. Both now, using the rock. that makes it exciting for the fans, but it's also fun for the fighters in there because, you know, to get involved with a scrap is quite fun. Now, Tommy is going to the corner right now. I think Tommy's telling him, look guys, I want to see some action less of the clinch. Now, if you can fight out of the clinch, you're doing a good job. Now, to touch upon Tommy Hayden, who is refing right now, Combat Matrix, sign up right now. Please choose which fight you think is the best. There is a cash prize involved for these fighters. Right. right, round two is underway. It's a very close first round as well. Could have very easily been a draw. Remember, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, Neil in the black trunks from the black corner and Renault in the red trunks from the red corner. They're talking to each other in there. I'd love to hear what they're saying right now. But Talk. again, this is respect. This is what this is what boxing should be, respect. And then Neil just keeping him at bay. He's loading up that right hand. Watch it. He's going to throw it. There it is. Neil is looking for it. But I want to see some more fins from Neil. Beautiful combos. Neil needs to touch him with a jab and then throw the right hand. Not throw a power in every shot. Tap, bang, tap, bang. Oh, good straight right by Neil, and that backs Renault right up onto the ropes. But Renault's doing the correct thing. He's just covering up and then grabbing when Neil's get close. Neil needs to make Renault guess. Renault's a very, very smart fighter. He knows how to weather storms. Neil needs to keep him guessing. There, Neil should have kept on him with some jabs and some backhands. I like Renault just constantly in there, throws an, uh, an awkward jab and an awkward backhand. Now, one arm is free. I like that Tommy's allowing him to fight on the inside. Not many refs allow this. Great refing by Tommy here. 
Now hey, Neil edging forward, but Renault just waiting for him on the back foot, trying to let that big left hand go. Oh! Ooh. Headbutt, I think, went in there. Very, very common with a southpaw against an orthodox is headbutts are very, very prone. Um, it did happen in one of Neil's other fights. Now, interestingly, Neil came off just the fight recently where he absolutely dominated every round. He's not dominating every round right now. I think Renault should have taken some time here just to recuperate. Was, he was complaining too that, his, that he hit his lip more than his head. Good, the good thing is yeah. that there was no cut, which normally happens when they get clash of heads. Point. And he didn't take it personally. He understands that this is a fight and this will happen. Good flurry by Neil. Neil trying to make the trying to have a fight in the phone booth with Renault. Absolutely. He needs to be careful, he doesn't want to walk onto a big left hand. Renault with a left hand. Now, notice how Neil isn't now necessarily boxing Renault. He's just getting on the inside and almost like smothering himself with shots. Neil needs to stay on the outside, look for the combos. I think Neil in his head has a rhythm, I'm going to throw this shot on this shot, but he needs to wait for the correct timing to throw it. Renault again, just a very intelligent um, fighter indeed. Well, Neil's just getting close, he's getting closer, and then he's punching and grabbing and holding. Yep, punching and yep. grabbing, obviously, he's doing it here again. Again, Not smothering, allowing. yeah. No, you're absolutely right, and that, that, that's the issue here. Neil needs to make him guess. There we go, Tommy is going to take a point here. Now, I'm not sure how I feel about taking a point here. I mean, he has. I'm not really happy with that. It's a very interesting. Now, Tommy's a very experienced ref as it is, but. Neil was warned about about what he was doing, coming in with his head. Yeah, yeah coming in with the head, yeah. yeah. Well, it's a smart move for the referee, it can yeah. end fights, but that definitely hasn't slowed Neil down. No, absolutely not, it's giving him a second wind here. Renault is not scared. Wow, what a beautiful fight. This might have turned, oh! Yeah. Maybe it was good that Tommy mentioned this now. Just to prevent Neil maybe losing it or cutting the fight. 10 seconds to go in this second round. Good right hand there from Neil. Right on the jaw, but again, Renault doesn't, has a good poker fist, doesn't show he's hurt, and keeps firing. That was a very good round. And there you go, into round number two. Unfortunate he lost the point there, but that is boxing. And to be honest, what a shame, because he was yeah. smothering Renault throughout that round. Yeah. Didn't let, give him a chance to breathe at all, and a bit of a shame of point you yeah. got to that because I thought Neil won that. I mean, what do you guys think at home? What do you think to that um, decision by the ref? Do you think he should have taken a point? Now, you also have to remember, a headbutt can end a fight. So, to an extent, he does need to keep warning his fighters, but it is what it is. Neil's got to take it on the chin and then just come out with it. Now, remember, you can choose your best fight of the night by going to combatmatrix.com. Create an account and then choose which fight of the night is your favorite. All right. Looks like he's got a little bit of swelling around uh, underneath his eye. What does Renault need to do differently to get himself back into this fight? Well, Renault needs to step with a jab and keep Neil at a range. And when he comes in, he's doing the right thing by holding him. But the thing with Renault is he's not actually using his range to an advantage. Understand that Neil is a short distance fighter who bursts in like Manny Pacquiao. Twist him with the check hooks. Land the looping right hooks. Renault needs to use that range to his advantage. He doesn't need to charge Neil. Neil's going to come in regardless. Again, Neil has lost the point here, which could be a deciding factor in the um, decision at the end of this fight. And again, Neil smothers himself. I want to see Neil hop, pop, and get out of range. Beautiful shot. And you can tell, you can hear Matthews uh, Neil's corner shouting, "Be active!" He needs to pop, pop in, and then get out not smothering himself. Big right hand from Neil. Much better by Neil there, not, not just smothering himself. Good body rip by Renault, trying to back Neil up for a change. You've also got to remember, Renault said he's doing this fight just for experience and just for fun. Renault's learning as he goes. He's like a computer, he just keeps learning as the fight goes on. He's backing Neil up now. Good left hand and right hook from Renault. Renault Doing a lot better in this round. Finally found his rhythm, but Neil backing him up with a big right hand. And Renault retreating to the center of the ring. I want to see a bit more ring IQ from both fighters here. Understand that this is a square right now. They need to choose where they want to keep the fight. Oh, big right up got from Neil, and that hurt Renault. He's trying to hold on. Renault, you look at the experience of Renault. He's had over 40 fights. 
He knows what to do when he's in trouble. He knows what to do right now. Neil needs to start using that job. Jab, pump the jab out. Keep Renault guessing. Keep him off his rhythm. Offset your opponent. And right now, that right hand is Neil's best weapon against Southpaw. Hit to the chest. He's head hunting way too much. Hit to the chest. Hit to the sternum. Big right hand there from Neil. Uppercut from Renault. Got Neil smothering him now. That body shot, I think, did hear him. 60 seconds to this final round. What a fight it has been. Good exchange from both fighters. Again, these fights are so close. I want to see it. Neil's done really well to throw more straight punches than he usually does, but again, he needs to mix it up. He needs to throw some faint shots and power shots. A little bit of swelling under Reynolds' eye, so you can see a bit of damage has been done. Whoa! Superman punch there Superman from Renault. Punch. That's the MMA inside Renault. Oh, he's put his head up. Wow, wait Neil. A minute, wait a Neil didn't take the bit. Very smart by Neil. Now, when someone drops the hands, go to the body. Good short up cut right hook from Renault. Oh! Neil trying to keep him there. That's where the Neil right wants him. There we go. Very good. <laughs> Neil's tired. They're both tired. Neil needs to edge out this round if he wants to win this fight. Both have done really well. Great fight. I don't know what I don't know what the score of this fight would be, especially with losing a point. That's always a tough one for the judges when they have to deduct the point. But great fight from both these two. They had on, they had us on the edge of our seat. Yes, sir. crowd loved it too. We'll and go with the judges' scorecards yet again. Yet to have a stoppage here tonight. the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now wake up it's time to look at the enemy look in the mirror if he is no friend of me it's not working now maybe it's the chemistry it's time to break up so learn to make a better me better believe in your mind cause it's everything you can mold shape find anything all it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity it's mind over everything all right ladies and gentlemen the judges have scored your winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner All right, we're going to take a quick one minute break. That fight was brought to you by Ambassador Hotel. If you like that fight, don't forget to vote on combatmatrix.com.